What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to do a quick video on how to do uh, role permissions. This has been one of the, my most asked uh, video. So in this video, it's going to be short and sweet. Uh, I'll get straight to the point. It's because today is April 25th and I have to go watch Avengers in less than an hour. So it's going to be a very short video. It's not going to be complicated. We're not going to get into too much information, but we're going to get into the basics of how do you check if a person has a role, which basically it's, it's permissions. It's if you have this role, then you can do this command. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, this is a channel where I code Discord bots. And in this video, we're going to do permissions. So open up the project. If you have no idea what we have going on here, uh, go ahead and check out my last videos. So right here I wrote, uh, let's say we're going to do something like ping. We're just going to do a basic ping command. And if a person has a role, then he's allowed to do the ping command. So we're going to do a case of the ping. If you don't know how to do this, there'll be a link to the description to my command video. So let's get started. So how do we do this? We want to check if the person has a role by its name. And I've actually given myself the role of boss and you can create a role by going up here, server settings, then you go roles and then you can create a role here. Um, and I just gave this just some basic stuff and whatever. I just gave myself a boss role. So how can a command, how can we check if a person has the boss role to be allowed to uh, continue and do the command and be able to uh, do the command on a channel? So first thing is going to check if the person does not have the command. We do this, we could do this without checking if a person doesn't, but it's easier if you check, usually it's easier if you check when something doesn't happen, then when something happens, then do something. So we're going to do if, then we're going to do this exclamation mark, and say if message that member that uh, roles that find, and we're going to do R, I'm going to pass in R again, and we're going to do art that name and it's going to be triple equals to and here is going to be the name of the role make sure everything's capitalized make sure whatever you know the name of the role you have make sure you put that exact same role name in this quotation marks here so for me it's boss okay then um if you want to check like a different role let's say you have multiple roles you can actually do this which is the and sign so this is a little programming class here. So if you know the backslashes, if you press shift and click on them, there'll be like these straight little dots, not dots, sorry, I want to say straight little lines. This is basically and. So it basically means do this, well, check if this, and check if something else. So we can just do the same thing, like message that channel. We can copy this actually. There you go. So we can do that. That means, and we can do something like uh, curl, I don't know. So that means we can check for this. Well, if someone does not have this role and someone does not have this role, then continue. So we only have one role that we have to check. Let's do that. Then we're just gonna do a return and we're just gonna do message that channel, uh, message, I can't type, message the channel that's send, not search, why can't I type send? Uh, and we're gonna say something like, you do not have permissions something like that whatever and then what this is going to do is if someone does not have the the, the role boss it's going to return by sending a message to the channel saying you do not have the permissions so uh we continue on and oh i messed up here there you go and then after that, it's very simple. You just do whatever command you want to do. So if you've been checking my last videos, and if, we, if you're you know creating special and cool commands, then after having this small little line here, all you have to do is uh, just continue on. So we can just do message that reply, and we're going to reply pong. Very simple. And let's just run it. No space dot. The bot is online. Let's come here and let's type ping and the, you know, the bot responded pong. That's because I have the role of boss. Now, if I actually remove this role, so I no longer have the role boss and I do ping, I'm going to say you do not have permissions. So that's basically how you do permissions. It's very simple. It's literally one line, 
there's another way you can do it and that's without this um, so we can do something like if you are more used to doing something like this then this is the same thing that we just did but as you can see just having that uh, exclamation mark makes it so much simpler and easier than writing this which is just if it has a role do this else send a message but again it's just simpler just to have that little exclamation mark there that's pretty much it uh, actually i want to do one quick thing what i want to do is i want the bot to delete the message after because i don't want the bot just to, like to have this i want the bot to send hey you don't have permissions and then delete what it just said which is this line right here so what we can do is do dot then and then we're going to passing a message and again we're going to do this i'm actually going to do a new space line right here and we're going to passing the message and then message dot delete no delete dot delete and let's do uh 10,000 so we're going to give it i think that's the time if i'm correct so if we start it again it'll be like 10 seconds i don't know how the ticks work uh but i'll something like that so now if we do ping it says you do not have permissions and i think i put 10 seconds but it should delete that if i'm correct yep it deleted it it was it was 10 seconds so if we go back here if we lower this to like 5,000. We had 10,000, right? Yeah, we did have 10,000. So 5,000. Uh, that's 50,000. We had. What did we have? Why? Right, whatever. Let's do 5,000. Whatever. It's probably faster to show. Ping. You're not permissions, and this should delete after five seconds. Boom. Deleted. So very simple. And if I give myself back that boss rule then I'm allowed to interact with the bot by saying ping and it will reply pong. So that's the basic way, the most basic way to check permissions. That's, it does not get more complicated. And if you guys are doing like private bots and stuff like that, you don't necessarily need to get that much complicated. Um, there's so much more complicated stuff in Discord.js that I have not gone through. Um, but hopefully we're gonna be getting to the really complicated stuff. For example, the way we're organizing our bots isn't necessarily the best how we have like our commands on one file. Uh, usually we want to have like another folder with all our commands. And we're going to be doing that when we get into like the advanced like commands and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Comment below any suggestions for upcoming videos. And I will see you guys later on my next video. Peace.